Yo, happy Saturday, everybody. Hola, mi gente. My peoples, my peoples. Can we just take a second and woo right? I know everybody mad and tripping about this Gail King thing. This Oprah Winfrey stuff, you know. I didn't like it either. Nobody liked it. It was, to me, the question just shouldn't have been asked. We all know that. But to be sending death threats, though, to this lady, I think is a little bit extreme, y'all. Okay? It's a little bit extreme. And the bashing, the back and forth bashing, like, come on, man. You know, these are two elite people that share the same skin color we share. So what? Y'all keep talking about we ain't going to interview Harvey Weinstein or whatever the hell his name is. Whatever. But my thing is, like, that's part of her paycheck cut. She, 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 they don't run nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're puppets like every damn body else. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody that feel like that should put their power and their money and their energy and coming together or the black man. Put your money together and do the documentary and go to Netflix. Or just do the documentary and put it on. Do something. But to keep talking about it and, and expecting these two women that ain't got really no power or say so. They got do's and don'ts, can'ts and cannots, should and should nots. That's what they have, okay? They don't run nothing, y'all. Hello? Hello? Knock, knock. Who's there? Brain. They don't run nothing. They don't, <laughs> they don't make them type of choices and decisions. You understand what I'm saying? So, I think if y'all going to honor Kobe's life, like, this ain't no honor to him doing all this extra stuff. Now, everybody got mad said what they said. But to continue this on and on and drag it out and drag it out, it's just going to get redundant. That's all I see. You understand what I'm saying? Like, these two women are not the first people in the whole history that has been sucked in by the elite. They're not the first and they're not going to be the last. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But nothing is being done. The problem is still there. Like, okay, you mad because they talking about... First of all, can't nobody destroy a black man's legacy but the black man himself. Okay? And this man ain't did nothing but built his legacy. Don't nobody even care about that stupid little charge that we all know he didn't do. Okay? It is what it is. But we also know the way that that's the white supremacy play their media games. We know that's part of their tools, part of their tactics. They use that. What do we do? Every time they do something, we get sucked right into the media. And it becomes a trend for two weeks, three weeks, a whole month. Mad, fussing, cussing, going off. You know what I'm saying? For what? They're going to do what they're going to do. Until we come together to figure out a way to totally eradicate white supremacy, this is going to continue to be an issue. But what is the point in beating up two old-ass black women? <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. I'm serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. We talking about wig and wig. Wig number one, wig number two. Thing one, thing two. This is what they do. You know what I'm saying? This is what they've been doing. This is not a new story, people. You know what I'm saying? But this issue is deeper than Gail and Oprah. You know, this 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 black man and black woman bashing thing is deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? We need to take this back hundreds and hundreds of years ago if we want to go there. The game didn't start with them, and it ain't going to end with them. That's all I'm saying. And for anybody to be wishing death on these two old-ass black women, y'all to be ashamed of your damn self. This is no honor to Kobe. Kobe was a businessman. He was an entrepreneur. He was a father. He was a ball player. Okay? He inspired many, many young black boys that didn't have fathers. He was an inspiration to a lot of grown men. Okay? The boy was about that life. So, honoring him would not consist of what we're doing right now. Okay, this, I don't even think he would even be cool or happy about any of this if he could see it. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, this is turning into the Oprah and Gail hate show. This is not about Kobe anymore. That's all I have to say, you know. Like, we really need to pull ourselves together and put our heads together and, you know, come up out of this, this, this bashing thing. She said what she said. It was a dumb question. It was at the wrong time. She shouldn't have said it. That's why I said they have should and should nots. <laughs> they don't have to agree to these terms, but they do. 
You gonna kill them? Y'all want them dead? So if they do get fired, you, the white white people they just gonna go find two more. We got them everywhere, y'all. It, it don't start with them two, and it don't end with them two. They everywhere. So what we gonna do? Kill off the whole damn color race? Cause they everywhere. It is what it is. What we gonna do though? We gonna keep doing this?